Connor, thank you for joining me. Uh, let's touch on the Chesterfield game from the other night. Obviously, not the result we wanted, but given that we had seven starters out injured, the lad's been a proper shift, and we're still in a really good position to push forwards. Yeah, really proud of the performance. I think that was the that was the key message to the players after as well. When you when you see the lads who are, are sat behind us when we're sat in the dugout, you can see all the injured boys and a lot of them boys have started a lot of games for us this season and last season. So. Obviously, you've got Pritchard right wing back, um, people out of position, people that haven't played consecutive games for a few years. So, you know, obviously, their fit is concerned. So, but listen, we done, I thought we'd done brilliant performance wise. Um, Cookie was very complimentary after you obviously come in the office. And listen, they're, they're a brilliant side. You can see why they're where they are. They're, um, without being at their fluent best, they were clinical and they needed to be. And obviously, that's why they're out, they are where they are and where we are where we are. So, but proud of the performance and obviously as I said the work ethic is the key thing everyone gave everything they had and I thought the performance was there which is the important thing we know if we play like that against the majority of teams in this league we'll pick up a lot of points so that's the key message moving forward I think it's fair to say as well that Paul Cook has got two starting 11s in his squad and he's actually consistently rotated throughout the season yeah listen they've done brilliant um, he's, when we spoke to him a couple of years back he said the same he said it's not, this doesn't just happen overnight he's, this has been two years in the making for him at Chesterfield with the squad he's got so they've done a brilliant job with their recruiting um, and as you see with their team they rotate it so much you often see three or four or five changes um, with the starting level from game to game and they're not weakening themselves by doing that they're um, like for like going in you can see people like Mandeville Greed coming off the bench and it's just to be fair the impact that makes I think a lot of their substitutions have scored this year which shows the quality they're bringing off the bench and for us to go with obviously bare bones to an extent and, and go toe to toe and things of credit to ourselves so the lads should be proud and we're proud of the performance and to be fair to the fans um, they were quite positive after as well which is which is nice to see after even though we've lost the game On to Hartlepool another tough opponent they're coming off the back of a 2-1 loss to Solihull Moors they'll certainly be looking to bounce back Yeah definitely you can see um, they've, had, they've had a massive upturn in results since obviously the change in uh, management team so he's doing a brilliant job for them and um, yeah, they've made themselves tough to beat and I know it's obviously a tough place to go. Obviously we've had Courtney Senior just returned from there, so he, he, he talks highly of a lot of their players and we know the, the threats they bring with this area up top. I believe he scored 19, 20 goals this year, so we know the threat he brings. So it won't be an easy game like, like none of are at this level. So we'll be, we'll be prepped as well as we always are and we'll hopefully take the three points on Saturday. As you say, clearly a side with a lot of threats and a lot of experience. They're now playing under Kevin Phillips as well, who knows the game inside and out. So a different kind of test for the lads with the way they play. Yeah, of course. Um, as I said, the old trainer result since he's gone in, is the, the usual manager, new manager bounce has, has happened. And but be interesting now to see how they react off the back of a defeat. I don't think they've lost five or six before that. So obviously just been beat. So let's see how they react. Obviously, uh, happened ourselves earlier in the season when you've been on a run, you get defeat, you can often knock you back. So be interesting to see how they bounce back. But to be fair to me, he's doing a brilliant job, and they've got some good players. So it's a tough place to go, and they've picked up some brilliant results over the recent weeks. Brilliant news just announced, Nicky Cabamba has just signed a new three and a half year contract with Barnet Football Club. Just how key is Nicky to the squad and what does his commitment to the club say about where we are now? To show his brilliant ambition. Um, he's been a stalwart for us, Gaffer always says that he's been a stalwart since he's come in. Um, the, the goal return he's had uh, last season and then the kick on again this season has been outstanding. To be fair to Nicky, with, um, with the way we've progressed, we've, um, last year we obviously finished fifth and this year we feel we've raised the bar and to be fair to Nicky, he just keeps coming with it. So that's a testament to himself and the work he puts in off the pitch and he gets his rewards on it and it's, it's brilliant for him and for us that he's decided to stay with us. So he's a key player for us and he will be for, for obviously years to come. Let's briefly touch on our injured players without going into too much detail. Are things progressing the way you'd hoped and can we expect to see some familiar faces back in the starting lineup soon? Yeah, listen, there's been no, no secret, obviously, the, the injury issues we've had of late, of late. So we've got a couple that should be back with us Saturday um, for the game, um, obviously, tomorrow. Uh, they'll hopefully be back with us, whether it be starting on the bench, where that adds strength again to the squad. So I won't, won't say names, just, just to give too much away. But it's nice to have two lads coming back into the group. And then we're not look far away from a few others as well. The boys are out on the training pitch, which is always good to see. Um, bring a good boost to the lads as well, the currently fit lads. Obviously, they know the reinforcements and the, the help's coming back. So... We're all positive moving forward. Listen, even if they weren't coming back, we saw enough on Tuesday night to know that the lads we have and the squad we have is good enough to go and get results. And I think that's showing the performance Tuesday night. But of course, it's a massive boost to have players coming back, especially the calibre of player that they are. We announced this week that keeper Jordan Gilmore has gone out on loan to Erith and Belvedere. Just how important is it for Jordan to get more game time in terms of his own personal development? It's massive for him. To be fair to Jordan, he's an excellent goalie. He's a real technical goalie. Um, with all his with all his standard goalkeeper stuff, but also with his feet, can kick it a mile, got a good vision, can read the game really well. So 
it's going to be brilliant for his development. He's obviously come from Millwall 21s and he's not had a, a massive taste of men's football, so it's to be key for his development. Luckily, he'll still be with us training here, so to get the best of both, he'll train every day of us, get that uh, high quality coaching as well as getting men's football, so it can only aid his development. Seven fixtures coming up in March, equally split between home and away. Dean always says how relentless this league is, and I suppose when you look at the coming month, this just highlights that. What's key from a coaching staff perspective to keep the momentum going and also to minimise the risk of injuries across such a busy period? Listen, you, told, you said the word relentless, that's, that's what it is. The gaffer always says it, he always says it in, to the fans, always says it to everybody within the chain room. We know what it's like at this level, we've all been around the level long enough. So, seven tough games, obviously with the FA Trophy game in there as well, included in that. So. We've got to try to utilise the squad, obviously with bodies coming back we hopefully will be able to do that a bit more. Um, you can see of recent, the last three or four games we've pretty much been forced into the similar enough size but obviously that's the way it goes with injuries, everyone has a spell throughout the season. Um, so to have bodies coming back for this period is really key, so it might give us the luxury to rotate a little bit more and obviously freshen things up from, from Saturday to Tuesday but listen, every game is going to be tough and there's a lot of points to play for in this short period so it's a massive period of season for us. We're obviously at the business end of the season now. How pleasing has this campaign been for you from a personal perspective? It's brilliant. Obviously, I've, I've, I've obviously played, been around full-time football since I was 16 and I've gradually made the transition into, into more the coaching and the non-playing side. So this is my first full year fully non-playing and I've thoroughly enjoyed it. And I've obviously been a very very appreciative of the gaffer and the chairman for giving me the opportunity and I feel we've, we've done really well. So from a personal perspective, very positive and obviously from a collective as well, I think it's the same. Um, Listen, when you come to this business at the end of the season, you want to be make sure that every game you're playing for something. There's nothing worse than when you get in your, your 13, 14 with nothing to play for. So when there's pressure on games, it means you're doing something right. And obviously we're at the right end of the table to have pressure on our games. It means we're, we're doing something right and we've got something to play for. So it's an exciting period. It's, it's unbelievable. Every, every point, every three points means a lot. So we've just got to keep taking the points away and get to the tally that we want. Connor, thank you for your time. Brilliant. Cheers, Dan.